You've heard of cool sculpting. Many celebrities have endorsed cool sculpting over the last 10 years. You may have tried it. You might have friends that have tried it. Today we're going to take an inside, behind the scene look on how cool sculpting can go very wrong. Hey, I'm Dr. Doug Willen, the Body Sculpting Pro. Now, a lot of people know me through my other YouTube channels. For example, I have House of Cairo that's been around for over three years with over 500 videos where I do my chiropractic adjustments on humans. I also have another channel that's become very popular called Animal Cracker, where I work on horses, dogs, pigs, chickens, cows, cats, you name it. But today we're specifically talking about how cool sculpting can go wrong. Cool sculpting is one of the most well-known forms of non-invasive body contouring or body sculpting. Non-invasive means we don't have to puncture the skin like liposuction. We're able to put a device on the outside of the body to burn or melt fat. In this case, it freezes fat. Cool sculpting is actually the brand name for a fat freezing method that aims to get rid of stubborn parts of your body. This method is called cryolipolysis. It was FDA approved in 2010. The device is put on the outside of your body on the target of area that you're trying to contour, body sculpt, or reduce fat, and it literally freezes the fat until the fat cells die. Fat freezes at a higher temperature than skin. The paddles cool quickly and your doctor leaves the device upwards of an hour and 15 minutes. During that time, the process destroys about 20 to 25% of the fat cells in the area that's targeted. Cryolipolysis can be used in an area of your body, like under the chin, the jawline, thighs, belly, back, butt, bra line, and even your upper arms. The final results may not show up for a few months. So here's some of the risks. During the process, you may feel a tugging in your skin. The freezing sensation for some people is a little painful. But that's not the bad part. When they take the paddles off, someone will come in the room to rub out the swollen area because it's already bunched up. Now that usually works perfectly, but in some cases it doesn't. PAH, paradoxical adipose hyperplasia. That's a paradox because you were trying to make it smaller, but in fact it became larger and unsightly. A 2021 study found that paradoxical adipose hyperplasia happens in 0.05 and 0.39% of the cases. Imagine this. The paddle, I'm going to stand up here, grabs your love handle or your fat and it squishes it. And when they take it off, it leaves what looks like a stick of butter under your skin. They call that the butter stick effect. Now, like I said, 99% of the people, this goes away. The practitioner or the, the therapist comes in the room and rubs it out, and that works. But what if it doesn't? What if you're left with butter sticks around your body? That's exactly what happened to Linda Evangelista. Linda Evangelista is one of the top supermodels in history. She's now in her mid-50s, and she is seeking a $50 million in damages lawsuit for the seven procedures that she took with cool sculpting between August 2015 and February 2016. She was quoted as saying, listen, I don't even get out of bed unless I'm making $10,000 a day. And she did. That's the type of career she had. She kept the issue to herself for five years, putting her career on hold while her peers were thriving. Evangelista got the procedure done in hopes of contouring small areas of her body, but after the final round, she began to see the treated areas getting larger. Within months, she developed hard, bulging, painful masses. Paradoxical adipose hyperplasia. She has undergone two corrective surgeries. Both were unsuccessful. She's living in chronic pain, disfigurement, and hasn't been working as a model since 2016. Let's take a look at Linda Evangelista's Instagram post. This is what she wrote. Today, I took a big step towards righting a wrong that I've suffered and have kept to myself for over five years. To my followers who have wondered why I have not been working while my peers' careers have been thriving, the reason is that I was brutally disfigured by Zeltec's cool sculpting procedure, which did the opposite of what is promised. It increased, not decreased, my fat cells. It left me permanently deformed even after undergoing two painful, unsuccessful corrective surgeries. I've been left, as the media has described, unrecognizable. I've developed 
paradoxical adipose hyperplasia, or PAH, a risk of which I was made, not made aware of before I had the procedures. PAH has not only destroyed my livelihood, it has also sent me to a cycle of deep depression, profound sadness, and the lowest depths of self-loathing. In the process, I've become a recluse. With this lawsuit, I'm moving myself forward to rid myself of my shame and going public with my story. I'm so tired of living this way. I'd like to walk out my door with my head held high, despite not looking like myself any longer. So what's the alternative? Well, one of the hottest innovations in the last couple of years is something that surpassed cool sculpting as far as fat reduction, and that's the M-Sculpt Neo. The M-Sculpt Neo can burn up to 30% of the fat in the area, while cool sculpting at its very best did 20 to 25%. It also has another technology which tightens the skin and also builds muscle and makes the muscle stronger and also more abundant in the area. So your abs become sculpted and tighter and more contoured. If you put it on your butt, it pops your butt like a perfect little bun butt that everybody likes. After seeing what can go wrong with cool sculpting, leave in the comments whether you would personally take that risk to do cool sculpting. Would you choose the M-Sculpt Neo over Cool Sculpting? In my next video, I'm going to talk about why I chose the M-Sculpt Neo over Cool Sculpting. Pen on paper signing the contract when I change my mind. This is Dr. Doug, your body sculpting pro, and I'll catch you in the next video.